Rachel here with Sense of Tempo County Corso. I am doing the puppy vaccinations, so you get to see that. I'm gonna kind of make this a little bit more even because I feel like it's slightly tilted. There we go. We're gonna start with the boys. Savannah's gonna hold them for me. Need the red boy. While I do the vaccination. I've talked about these before, but you do want to make sure that they stay cold. I have a thing of ice over here so that they stay cold. They need to be between 35 and 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Put a little bit of air in there. Helps it come out. It puts itself in. Give it a shake. It should, it should dissolve pretty quickly. Pretty boy. Starting with the red boy. Yeah, we're starting with the red boy. And we're just gonna, yep, yeah, and then we're just gonna do all the boys because you wanna make sure you never do a puppy twice. Because they only need one right now. Get all the air out. We're gonna put this we're going to put this under the skin, but not in the muscle. So between the muscle and the skin. I want to say it's... Yeah, horses, I don't... Horses. Up. Okay. We're going to lift it. So we get a good little spot there. Right. There we go. They don't really feel it either. Lost a little bit of it, but that won't be a problem. Alright, he's done. Alright. So Easy, simple. Red boy, done. I keep these packages and I staple them to the health guarantee so that the owners have proof of vaccination. Okay. Let's start again. Take it off. Always give the needle tip a little twist. Put it in, grab the liquid, bring it out. I can never tell the difference between these two boys. The uh, bond boys. Try to get it all out. Put some air in. In here. Freaking out. Bro, bro, bro. You can give it a... You don't actually have to take the syringe out. I find that's better than putting it back in again. Not that it's like a huge deal, but I do feel like maybe it can actually um, dull the... Mm, cute. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take it out. We do need to take it out. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah. It didn't want to come out. Not a baby. Mm -mm. I'm Got a grandma. Out. We're so right. to... Get that air out. Bubbles out. It's crazy. Watch out. Okay. Oh. Lift. I'm hoping it's cool. In. Okay. All done. Give it a rub. Give All right. Kiss. We're good. All right, Next. Boys. Come on. I got to get the other um, before my team of boy. How many boys do we have? Three? Four boys, four girls. Okay. Come here, pretty boy. Having Savannah here really helps, but if you are alone and you... Uh, don't have somebody to help you using a food reward will get the same results. You're not as sweet as your brother, you know that? You're not as sweet. You're just... Air in there. Look at the camera, boy. Quiet down, cat. Mm. We have her put up because we've had the front and back doors open because we're doing some cleaning just to keep the house up. Hey, hey, calm down, calm and we down. don't want her making her great escape like she's been planning to do for a while now. You calm down, little boy. Uh -oh, she always wants out. Talk to her. He doesn't really want no, out. No, he doesn't want way, out, I but she does. Leave, just I don't think he would take off like she does, though. She's wild. 
You don't think that he would be with her? He'd be like, oh, if you're leaving, then I'll just follow you. No, all you'd have to do is like jangle some food out there, and, and he would like, be right at the door. Her, she doesn't care if you have food or not. She's not coming back. I'm going right. to oh, force her in like a cage that's got like fish in it, which she hasn't eaten. Yeah. You know, she only gets, you know, so much food out there. All right. solid food now. Quiet cat. I've been feeding them puppy mush. They grind it up puppy food. Yep. Mm. I'll tell you what, he is soft. You're a soft boy. He's a fatty. Alright. He's got a lot of skin too, man. It's gonna be a big old dog right there. He's gonna be a big old human with his kisses. I love Chuck. He's such a sweetie. Just like the Koa. I keep forgetting. I call them by my names. When they get to their home, they can call them what they want. He'll always be a Chuck to me. Some people like us calling them by their uh, their names so, so that they learn it. Yeah. I'm gonna do the uh, brindle feeding. Mm -hmm. Hey, quit barking at me! Stop it! Uh, sometimes these tops can be hard to get off. Mm. Come on, man. Good gosh, this one is really hard. <clears throat> there we go. Quiet. Quiet, Blair. You're not coming out. Not yet. You're not making your great escape. It's not happening. She then talks back. She's like, man. I'm going to try to stack up the puppies today and get some more picks for everybody. Um, I'm going to be calling everybody that has a puppy in this litter because the people that have the boys need to make their picks. Females will not be picked until eight weeks because of the fact that I have my pick to make and because these girls are so nice, I don't know which one I'm picking yet. This one's probably not we need every bit of eight weeks. When she was younger, she actually looked nicer, but recently she kind of lost some rear angulation. But that doesn't mean she won't get it back. They're a little bit fussy right now. Yeah, they haven't eaten yet today. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah. Oh, they're going to eat the Got 
Keeps kind of getting to the thing. My my ear cropping vet has a new technique that he's using now, where he tapes the ears over the head to help get them to stand. I'm sure it's great for Dobermans, but they asked me, they're like, do you want us to use that new? I was like, nope. No, I don't. Because I've seen people do it with Corso, and Corso ears can already have a tendency to, to, to be on top of the head. So I didn't want that, because it's like a problem to get them to stand up and stop laying on top of the head. <clears throat> It's, it's nice to be trusted enough, like, in my, in what I do for them to be able to know that I can, like, to ask me that, you know what I mean? To know that I can handle it. And they also send me their, Next girl is, uh, they send me their clients that, because it's they're so far away from me, they're three hours away from me, they send me their ear cropping people that are in my area to come to me for the tapings. Um... So that's kind of cool. So do we have fawn girls? Um, so there's a big fawn girl in there that we need. And there's a, 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 well really they're both pretty big, but there's one with a light mask and one that looks like Blondie. Like a dark mask and she she's, look like Blondie. Are you she's, she's not like, she doesn't have as long of a muzzle as Blondie, but she has the longest muzzle out of the group. That's the light uh, mask female. That's the other female that I'm looking at. That is just um, that is just a kind of a secretion from the um, from the vulva. It's very normal. Sometimes puppies get slight vaginitis. I don't know that that I would even call that vaginitis at this point, but it can happen. Usually, when they're that young, it tends to resolve itself, so you don't medicate for it unless it gets foul smelling or something like that. I thought she looked like Blondie whenever I saw her. I was like, she looks like Blondie. I looked like her. She kind of does look like Blondie in a way, except for like just her facial expressions. I think she looks like Blondie. Like that's my baby. Don't do that. A little bit came out, but nothing we can't handle. There we go. So that's, a, that's tight, so you need to redo that one. Way too tight, way too tight. Yeah, way too tight. How could you go? Too tight, too Yeah, I'll cut it off right now. Okay. Got it. Can you get a knife? Um, the scissors are right there, or... Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Don't forget anything here. You can wait, why? Right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Put another one on me later, but you have a pretty big head, so I'm just wondering. Savannah did the, did the, um, cords to go around the collar so they don't come off, but unfortunately that one is too tight. Let's see, so now there's another fawn girl in here. This one should be it. No, yep, there's one more fawn girl. She's the one with the most black on her body. She's fawn, but she's got a lot of black on her and on her face. I'm so confused right now. I'm like, where's that fawn girl in here, buddy? Is this a red girl? No, this isn't a red girl. This is a fawn girl? Let me see her. Yep, that's her. Oh, okay. She's very dark. Mm -hmm. There's so much dark on you, I didn't even realize it. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that's what, like, that's why she looks like Molly, because Molly had that dark on her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's really light. We call that carbon, the black on them. And carbon can, can come on any, any type of fawn. It can be on the really lightest fawns mm -hmm. to even the reds. Oh, she's big. Yep, look at all that skin. Okay, all right. All right, there we go. That's it. That's that's, that's all she all wrote. That's all so, good. just wanted to show you guys the vaccination procedure, how I do it. Also, for verification purposes, 
that it is done. I buy these from Tractor Supply. Um, and so, yeah, if you want to do it yourself, that's how you do it. You'll have a great day. Happy Christmas Eve.